Hey guys, today we will use the reversing utility to locate input calls and we will trace it back until we are in the actual text section where it was actually called from. So this is very useful if you got a program you want to reverse or malware and you don't know where it uh, was calling the input from. So this will use uh, stack walking to trace back where it was actually called from. So let's see this example right here. We have this and it's just a simple C++ um, program that uses the cin function uh, to wait for an input. And if we enter something, uh, we see that we just entered something. So this is just a basic program, but this could be malware or a um, just loader, for example. So let's just normally run it and you will get the latest reversing utility from the website below in the description or from my Discord. Uh, join my Discord to get the latest updates because I'll be working on this um, like almost every week. So let's run this. And we're gonna select the input right here and we hit over to the additional feature section. And then you see it change a bit from the last update. What we're gonna click is locate input frames. So here we get a frame that um has no symbol it's just the text section right here we're gonna just click this line right here and then we're gonna go to x for debug in real world cases you would normally freeze the program by going right here and click freeze just to be sure that it doesn't detect your x for debug or whatever and also for sure make sure to click this apply anti uh, blue screen so you don't blue screen so yeah that's it what you're gonna do is just attach and then we're gonna control G and paste everything here. Now we can't hit enter right now. We just need to remove everything uh, except this address right here because that's what we need. And we're gonna click OK. And we land up right here. And if we extend this, we see we are right here in the CNN instruction. So this is where the input actually was called from. And uh, we see strings right here. So this is what we saw earlier in the program itself. So this is like the actual address where it was called from, not just somewhere inside any modules. So this is very, very useful. For example, in a cheat loader right here, we would have an input where it asks you for license key. Then it would have usually like somewhere right here, a call for authentication. And then we would see some jumps right here that lead us to a success. So this is very useful. If we want to trace back inputs um, using different methods so this does not only work for C in calls it works for almost all input ways so this is very useful um, if you want to test this feature you can just drum a discord or just go to a link and download the latest uh, version and yeah this was it for today hope you liked it and see you in the next video